Welcome again to another episode of RuneScape Combat Academy. Today we will be focusing on whatever came after the Combat Triangle. I'm currently enjoying staring away from the raw trout that has been placed next to the cooked trout because everyone with common sense know that will result in food poisoning. Do not put raw food next to cooked food. Raw food has more bacteria, it will transfer over to the warm cooked food, it's just going to be a mess. Fortunately, RuneScape apparently does not have bacteria as a potential enemy, but it does have poison. Oh wait a minute, it has disease as an attack, doesn't it? That is, you know, it's not really the same. Uh, They don't look like they need to be told about anything, they look like they're wasting time. Okay, looks like we're focusing on enemy weaknesses, damage types, and targeting. Not necessarily in that order. Hmm. <clears throat> Whatever they may be. Now this is going to be different, because I remember in my day, you looked at an enemy, there was no way of helping you, maybe click examine, but you go based on how it's attacking you, how you should attack it kind of thing. Put the best arm on to protect yourself, and attack it with a different type or something. Yeah, I never quite understood that until I had a mission which was... some sort of water goddess one. Elid, I think it was, it was a member's quest, and you had to kill a golem and the only thing that would hurt it would be a hammer or a mace or something that used crushing attacks and at the time I was using a skimmer so it was like it was basically killing me I had to peg it like five times while I learned my lesson oh Jesus do not want to be her ex isn't it she looks a bit vicious. I reckon I could survive the dagger slash, but I don't want to risk it. She's not cheap, is she? She's got two dragon weapons. I mean, I've also got the same two dragon weapons with this. Yeah, I think I have a dragon maul. Wait, no, there's no such thing. Okay, I have a granite maul. Had. Sold that, it's a load of crap. Did not buy a Dragon Warhammer. I can't even remember if you can buy one of those. And I had a mace. I think I still have a mace, but it's the most useless weapon to have. Such a low... It's like good strength attack, but it's just... You just need it for crushing enemies. It's up by crap. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Do you remember the good old days where on the combat thing it would have oh do I want to do attack, slash or stab or lunge? Now your weapons are specific to one type. It kind of feels like they're dumbing it down. Especially the fact that just hovering over it will tell you everything about the weapon. So you don't even need to look at it on your arm examine thing. I, d I don't know what that is. I, I was around when that came into play. And I know how that works, so that's overall. But I, I guess you know individually. Now I know it does 480 damage. I'm assuming that's a maximum. Right, let's just continue onwards. That's not very safe. You know what I'm waiting for? Do you know, never try this at home, by the way, because they always tell an archer shoot in the opposite you know why she's shooting the other way from the crowd they do this in shooting because well you're not allowed basically it's dangerous but equally you're never told to shoot in the air because we all know the rules of gravity what goes up must come down I don't know why she's not gonna feel a rain of arrows soon or myself but whatever now I don't know what bow she was using before but that's a Karis bow crossbow I'm pretty sure Karil, uh, whatever the hell his name is. Originally, 
Originally, I thought that was a javelin, but then I realised the handle on it, it's obviously a dagger. With throwing knives, she's holding it wrong, that will cut her hand. She sh you should hold it with the two tips of your finger, so index and thumb, holding the bottom part so that you can throw it without it cutting your tool. Otherwise, I'd, if it was me and I was doing a throwing knife, I'd probably hold it by the handle. Hope I'll get a good shot off or something, knock them out maybe. Yeah. Oh, it's rained, and it never would have thought that a bow that shoots arrows could be a shot from range. I wonder if you can still interrupt a person who's doing range if you punch them or something. No, no, let's continue. Oh, whoa, should come out of nowhere, that one. Continue. Oh, enter doesn't work anymore. They have really done up the stars. The stars didn't... Do you remember the days when the stars were just a stick of wood with a ball on the end of it? You enchant it by t uh, making the, s the ball... F I wonder what happens now if you get the stick, the battle staff, and you stick an orb on top of it, an enchanted orb. Does it turn into that? I mean, that's quite an achievement for the orb. Not so much with the earth staff. I think that's kind of... Looks kind of like they originally did. Again, not much of a change. Well, quite a drastic change, but... How are you going to do that? I kind of thought the fact they were colour-coded. I suppose if you're colour-blind, you'd think this is an earth spell, and this is a fire spell, you know, because they see red as green and green as red. But otherwise, I've always been straightforward that white is synonymous with air because, you know, it's kind of see through -y colour. Red is obviously fire. Blue is obviously water. And green is obviously earth because it's grass. Even though earth attacks are brown like mud. But you can't make it brown, it's too close to red. In any case, now they've made it simpler. In case you did not realise that fire strike was a fire spell, or air bolt was an air spell. I don't think it was necessary. That's an air spell. Okay, in that case, for attacks like that, that don't actually have the spell in the name, that's more useful. I didn't realise, for example, a storm attack, which has electricity, you know, lightning, which starts fires, would be counted as an air attack. But it does come from the sky, I guess. I'll just continue. Right, at, at first glance he's using a wand, a sword and a bow, so I don't think I would. I can't even press examine on him anymore, I have to press a specific button now. Slash, and my weakness is enough. Oh, it's melee. Don't know why. I just want to point this out. His combat level is 2. My combat level is 160. I think he has the advantage here. I think he's ineffective against me full stop. I could use anything to probably kill him. But for level 2 he certainly has a lot of health, doesn't he? need to repeat that. In my general opinion most people just use the fastest weapon. It doesn't matter what's the most effective because if you have a fast weapon it will deal two attacks for every one attack you have from something else like if you're using daggers very fast weapon their um, damage stat is slower than other weapons but the speed makes up for it in the amount of damage they can cause over time in the same way 
that you would use frying knives to get your range skill up quickly or short bows because they shoot they shoot or throw more it's more than a minute kind of thing isn't it you know in general it's quicker to it's quicker to do damage that's the whole point so it doesn't matter so much what type you use I just use fire magic at the end of the day it's, it's always the highest level requirement which means it should be the highest attack damage one It's like Pokemon really isn't it? Use lightning on a water type. Use fire on someone who's got a weakness to fire. I wonder if you can use... Do you reckon that attack would be particularly powerful on a water sprite? If you're not a member, you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh. I wonder how. Yes, Dragon Neil. Wonder who named her. Okay, so his weakness is stab. Do you know what? I think I remember now how they did the did the weapons. Why they changed the weapons? So they are. It must be what they were used the most for. Like I'm pretty sure you'd always use the slashing attack with the skimeter. You wouldn't really stab or lunge with it. With the dagger, you always use stab. It was, it's what it had its highest bonus stat for. They must have picked its best stat and said that's the base of its attack. But god, now I'm going to have to carry around so many weapons. So many weapons. Okay. But I mean, I'm going to have to carry so many different weapons to attack different enemies now. It's just going to be annoying. Current weakness, thrown weapons. So we're talking throwing daggers, I'd say. We've got obviously that's not thrown. That's obviously not thrown. Whereas this is clearly thrown. As it says in the ammo type. I don't know why my attacks are so high with that. It seems that the most likely thing is going to pick magic next, isn't it? <laughs> Lady Drefnil. Yeah, fire spells. Aren't they always weak against fire? Pop you on. Use that one. Oh, so low. You should do it before you get fire. Not particularly. It's going to stick to melee and range, isn't it? Well, decided to end this one by saying let's look at the Oxford dictionary of what the word rank means. Put that up there, isn't it? Lovely, doubling.